Especially to go rock fishing, you need a lot more than a fishing rod. Yes, Harry, put this on. Okay, go. So this is the rock fisher. Yes, my mate Brad and I, we do lots of rock fishing, been doing it for years. We developed this to make our life a lot easier, and then if it's easier, it's safer. So cup holder? No, that is for your rod. Ah. All of this stuff that you threw out of the bucket, Terry, we're not going to use half of it. We don't even need the bucket. Why? Because you're going to carry the fish in a bag. You'll also find a waterproof pocket in there, which is for your phone. Oh, I thought I'd have to leave that behind. No, nope. take it with you. You may need it. Uh, you can also put your tape measure there. Show everyone how big my fish is. And you can capture it on your GoPro. Oh, if it's not on film, it didn't happen. Here's our safety line. It's the bait bucket, spare tackle, and finally, your bait knife. That's it. You are good to go. So, Carl, why are you not wearing a rockfisher jacket? Well, the one you're wearing is actually the first prototype. We've just launched on Kickstarter to go into mass production. If I was to fall now, my reaction is to grip my equipment, so I'm going to go head first into the rocks. I can't imagine that ending well. Not really. Whereas I'm hands-free. Absolutely. That's the whole point of the rockfisher. It all started in the garage when Brad added a gimbal to his life jacket. So you can put the rod in there, it gives you the extra leverage that you need. And then we thought, well, what else can we do? So we added the bait table. Which means we don't need to bring the cutting board along. Everything's there, it's so convenient. Unfortunately, many rockfishers do end up in the water. We've come up with some extra features that you won't find on a basic life jacket. So the first thing you want to do is raise the alarm. They will not hear you shouting, so you've got a whistle on your left shoulder. OK. And the other feature is a strobe light. If you're unfortunate to go into nighttime, they'll see that like a lighthouse. In the collar, you have a survival hood. If you'd like to unzip it, pull out the hood, and you'll see a zip. This thing will stop you swallowing or inhaling water, which gives you a sense of security and the will to survive. I thought the rock fisher was a safety device, and it is that. Thank you. But what I really love are all the carefully considered details to make the rock fisher perfectly designed for the end user. It lives in the second drawer, and it's a tool we use every day. Meet the kitchen knife. That's not a knife. How do you rethink the humble knife? So my family are in cooking, and it began with them thinking about how can we improve a knife. People use these things for a lot of time, and just the ability to slide that enables you to rebalance it. If I move this, I get a really lovely knife action that balances in my hand. This isn't the finished product, is it? This is the second prototype. Right, this is looking lovely. In a typical knife, over time, these get ground, and what will happen is the balance will go out. This is a weight with a magnetic set inside, so we can slide this and rebalance it. The other advantage, of course, being dynamic, you can actually use it for different types of processes. Some people hold it like this, some people hold it like this, and indeed, different foods require different processes. There's some obvious problems with that. For example, the magnet. You know, if you're using that with oil, that's not good enough. Yeah, yeah, you you'd just, slip. You'd slip. So yeah. this is the final product? This is the final product. And I can see the difference. Yeah, so straight away there's a little lump on that, so you get the grip, but it allows you to clean, so you can take those out, clean that in the dishwasher, that's a beautiful feeling knife. Yeah. So from first sketches to early ideas, to a prototype that I would have been happy with, to the final thing, there's a lot involved. And I think what we should do is actually try it out with a chef. So Colin, you've got a knife in your hand all day, right? Yes, I would say more than 60 hours. Wow. So a knife is very important for me. I can adjust my knife easily, and it's very good for me. I like my knife. We're choosing Japanese steel, which yep. I believe is one of the best. The whole thing is made out of one piece. So the other thing we've done is we've actually vapor behind the surface. What does that mean? What does it do? So it's a micro treatment, a slight texture on the surface, which helps the sushi come away from the knife. Knife making is an ancient craft, and let's face it, we've all got a few at home. What's different about the balance knife? It's the first knife that's truly customizable.